everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have a Common Rider Ghost review for you today. This is the DX Machine Hoodie and Houdini Ghost Icon. Now to be fair, I'm not 100% sure if it's supposed to be pronounced hoodie, like a slang term for a hooded sweatshirt, or hoodie, like, like the way Houdini. The katakana for hoodie is written the same way as Houdini. So, and I don't know if that's just a, you know, a pun that they're doing because all the different damashis, we kind of call them hoodies because they look like hooded sweatshirts and, you know, hoodie and houdini. So maybe that's where the joke lies. And either way, I think it's hilarious. Um, but this is for Kamen Rider Spectre. It is his bike that also happens to be the houdini damashi. It does come with the houdini ghost icon as well. You can kind of see a picture of Spectre there at the top. Cool picture here on the bottom. Got Houdini on that side. Got him sitting on the bike there. So as you can see, it just kind of shows you the different stuff that you can do. So we will go ahead, get this stuff out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. This is everything that you get in the box, exactly how it comes in the box. Now, I did want to point out that in some of the pictures on the box, uh, it shows him in the Houdini form holding a kind of solid black version of the Gun Gun hand. This Damashi does not come with any weapons. It does not come with any hand weapons. So those are from the original Spectre set. I just wanted to point that out. But you do get this piece here, which will eventually become the headpiece in the Houdini Damashi. You get this piece that will be the vest, as you can see there. You, of course, get the icon, which we'll take a closer look at in a second. And then you get the bike piece, which is the main bike piece kind of splayed open. Uh, and it will kind of give them wings that kind of resemble like a butterfly, which we'll take a closer look at. Um, real quick, I'm just going to move in and show you the uh, Houdini Ghost icon. Alright, so taking a quick look here, you can see the number 13 Houdini. And I have to say, I think it looks pretty great. It's got a little bit different style of sticker, whereas the other ones are kind of pixelated all over the place. The hollow foil on this kind of goes in like lines. You can kind of see like a line there and a line there. And then like kind of some vertical lines. Kind of gives it a little bit of a different effect. But I think that's because this is supposed to be... This is kind of Spectre's boost. He doesn't get an official like power-up mode, at least not yet. I don't know if he will later on. Um, but this is kind of effectively his, his form that's on par with Ghost's boost. So as you can see, it does have a blue iris there. Pin system on the bottom. QR code on the back. First click gives you number 13. Then you can get the Houdini Damashi uh, faceplate there with the chains and the padlock and then some more chains for the special attack pretty cool so we'll go ahead we'll pop it in here So I should mention that you can tell the, the music when it's kind of in standby mode is for Spectre as opposed to Ghost because this is obviously one of Spectre's forms. And then you get the jingle there. We'll go ahead and do the final attack. And then the Ometimum. So there you go. But overall, I think it's a pretty nice icon. I really like the dark, uh, deep blue there. I think that looks really cool. I like the sticker on top. And just happy to get another one of the 15 icons. Makes us that step closer to getting our wish. Alright, so coming back to the bike pieces here. 
Uh, assembly is very simple. You're just going to come around to here. This piece is going to flip out and you can see there's a nice big clip right on there. That's going to peg into this clip on the back of the vest. Clip it on very simply and then you can just go ahead and you'll see that just folds right up and it just clips very simply. You can kick out the little kickstand. You have the main part of the bike. This here is going to be the front of the bike. All you do is fold this down like a normal Damashi, you know, hoodie face. It doesn't have two eyes here because it's going to be the front of the bike. So it doesn't have eyes like the normal Damashi hoodies do. But you just flip that down like that. And then you can see there's two peg holes right there and two pegs. So you very simply just pop that on and there you go. You have the machine hoodie in motorcycle form. And I have to say it looks pretty good. I like the detailing on it. I really like the color scheme. I'm a big fan of the color blue though, so I'm a sucker for anything blue. These have, uh, you can go ahead and peg these. One side has a peg and one side has a peg hole, so just make sure you push them together. Uh, but overall it looks pretty good. The kickstand keeps it nice and stable. I'm going to bring in my, I have Spectre here, uh, sans his hoodie ready for the transformation um getting him on the bike it's not hard to just sit him on the bike certainly not i mean he fits nice but then like trying to get both hands eh, i was playing with it earlier and i had trouble but maybe i just wasn't folding his legs up enough I, I feel like the handlebars are just a little low if they were a little bit higher i feel like it might have worked out a little better but this is actually working better than when i was playing with it earlier so he, he really does fit the bike fairly nicely. I mean, the contour for his legs is pretty good. Oops. I accidentally flipped that up. Now the wheels, it's funny, you can see here, like, the wheels spin here. The middle part here is stationary, but the wheels do spin pretty well on both sides. So I can get his feet out of the way so he's not running his feet over. It does roll pretty well, and I think he does look good on the bike. So yeah, overall I think it's pretty successful in bike form. To transform them into Houdini Damashi is actually fairly simple. Just go ahead, click that. Go ahead and pop the helmet piece off that we had attached before. And then you go ahead and pop this open. You'll rotate this back to the middle. Now it's up to you at this point. You can detach this if you want the Damashi with or without um, you know, these wings. Just for the simplicity of showing you how to connect it, I'm going to take them off for now. You can see here, and I'll get a little bit closer. This just unpegs. There's just a tiny little peg and a peg hole right there. And then this piece will actually flip completely back up like that. So you just bring Spectre over here. Just kind of line up where it would go on his back. You can see it sits very flush with the back. Looks great. And then this just pops over. And of course, he's got the little pegs right there and there very similar to like a you know gaim or anything like that and you can just drop them right into the holes this will all peg closed now you do want to make sure that this piece goes behind the arm of the driver otherwise it's going to constantly want to keep popping out so you do want to make sure Let's see if we can... there we go so i mean the vest fits very nice very snug, especially when you peg them in here and then peg it in on the sides. So it looks pretty good. You're going to come to this piece, flip this up, and then you're going to, like, these have accordioned in on themselves, so you want to pop them out like that. And then you can see there's two pegs, one here and one here. That's going to peg into both sides on his head right there. And then obviously it'll just drop on. Very simple. You just have to make sure the pegs all line up. And make sure it clips on his face. I think that's clipped in. So there you go. This is Houdini Damashi without the wings. I'll try to get in and take a close look at his face, but it's all very dark. It's kind of hard to see. He does have the chains and the padlock in the middle. But the problem is, the face is very dark. It's hard to get light in there. 
even in person, it's kind of hard to see. But overall, I like the look of it. I mean, this hoodie is definitely, you know, more pronounced. It's got the kind of point at the top. And the shoulder pads are... I kind of wish you could turn the shoulder pads just like 90 degrees. But I'm positive you can't now. I just... I feel like they would have worked a little bit better if they could have just gone down a little bit on the arms instead of winging out towards the back. But I guess they wanted to kind of hide the pegs here. So I can understand that. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. Of course, you can now come back and peg this right back in. And then he's got these crazy butterfly wings, which I think look pretty neat. The one thing I do appreciate is these two black pieces here on the back act as kind of a third leg in this mode. So he doesn't need any help standing, which I really appreciate. But of course, you can just kind of do something like if you want to pretend he's flying, maybe maybe pull his legs up here a little bit. And just have him zoom around with his crazy big bike butterfly wings. Looks pretty good from the back. So overall, I mean, it's an interesting idea to have his bike kind of, you know, pop open and have this crazy butterfly effect. But I think it's neat. I mean, it's definitely something new and original. I don't think I've seen anything like this before. And it's an interesting form. Uh, the other thing you can do if you want to pop this off, and I did want to point out, you can see all the kind of chains that are in here because he's Houdini, all molded into the inside of the bike. I think that's a nice touch. That's kind of easy to overlook because it would have been awesome if they painted them. If those were painted silver, I think that would have been fantastic, but I can understand why they didn't. But you can also turn it over like this, and you can see there's two pegs right here and here. So if you would like, you can go ahead, let me straighten his legs out here, and peg him onto the front. And on the show, I believe he also does this, where he rides it around this way. Now, you just want to be careful because his ankle joints are not incredibly strong, just by the nature of these kind of figures. So if you try to just, like, hold it down here, he'll probably just fall forward. But, I mean, he's not going to, like, break his ankles or anything. He just might fall all the way forward or fall all the way back. So you can see he's either leaning back or leaning forward. And I kind of wish that the pegs were more towards the middle of the bike. I understand why they can't be, just because of, you know, available space to put the pegs and have them actually stand. But I still think it looks neat. I think it's cool that he can stand on there. I mean, if you were to just sit this here, like on a shelf or something, he definitely could just stand like that and it's no problem. And I think that's pretty neat. I just like how there's a lot of different playability options with this guy. He can ride it as a bike. He can use it as wings. He can ride on top of it. I definitely think that it's pretty cool. So I think this is a pretty fun set. It's relatively reasonable. I think I paid somewhere in the area of like $25 to $30 before shipping. And I mean, you get a really nice deluxe ghost icon. You get a toy that can be a damashi, a vehicle, uh, another mode of transportation. It's just a lot of playability, I think. I think the bike works nice on its own. I think, you know, Spectre fits really nice on it and it really works just as a, as a motorcycle. But then, of course, you have the added benefit of it being the Houdini Damashi, which I think looks pretty neat. And I do really appreciate the fact uh, that they put those little black pieces on the back so that it acts as a third leg when he has the wings attached. Because, you know, it would be really tough to try to get that guy to stand without that. I also really appreciate the fact that you can take the wings off. If you're not a huge fan of the wings, if you think they look dumb, you can kind of leave them in bike mode and just enjoy the Houdini Damashi. Um... Plus, sometimes you might just want to display it one way or the other. So I really appreciate the fact that you can disconnect them and reconnect them that easily. I think that's really nice. So I think it's fun. I recommend it. Uh, definitely, you know, if you're just collecting the icons, it, this is available in Candy Toy and Gashapon versions. So you don't have to buy this just to get that. But the DX version, of course, is exclusive to this. But if you're not collecting the Ghost Change line and you're only collecting icons, there are other, other options out there for you. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Please like and share this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the DX Machine Hoodie and Houdini Ghost Icon set. And thanks for watching.